Well, howdy, everybody. Uh, so, anyhow, I was going to show you something. I came up with this at work a few years ago. Um, I manage uh, a couple of counties for a, a DOT agency. And um, in order to help keep the flaggers safer working on the roadways, um, since we do pretty much anything and everything to do with road maintenance in the two counties in which I supervise, um, we had an incident here a few years ago. I had an employee that was on the job one year and uh, is now physically disabled for the rest of his life. Um, we had a work zone set up in a school zone, actually, and uh, the flagger had a passenger van stopped and a vehicle came in at 55, 60 miles an hour and slammed into the back of that passenger van. And that day we had 13 people go to the hospital along with an employee. So I come up with this to help provide more adequate lighting to just not a flagger standing on the side of the road, but it's actually going to draw attention to what is up ahead and what is on the road and hopefully bring more attention to the flagger at that location. So along with all of the other traffic control that we actually had set up that day. So anyhow, what to come up with was this. Uh, got the idea, uh, basically these are uh, moving dollies from Harbor Freight is what they are. And then we basically added on um, to make them what they are today. So as you can see, we've got a lunchbox holder at the bottom. Uh, you can put your water jug lunchbox there. Up above here, we have got two LED lights. One's um, and they're multi-function. They are amber, white uh, each. And then also on top, is we have just a regular floodlight um, and this moves up and down and you know actually you can turn it any which way and the reason we do this is because in case we are have a nighttime emergency and sometimes on on occasion which we do actually quite often um, we have a nighttime operation and uh, especially trees or whatever we may have a rock slide or whatever but uh, anyhow this is going to help illuminate the flagger at nighttime uh, this right here this will uh, is extremely bright leds and then the bottom ones are basically for our daytime operation but we can also use those at nighttime so on the back of this we have um two switches two toggle switches here's one for the strobes and one's for the leds this one right here is a momentary switch this, by pushing this and holding just for a split second, will change these amber white LEDs up to 15 different flash sequences, which is really nice. We have a 10 amp hour spill proof battery. It will actually run all of these strobes along with the floodlight for 20 hours straight. And then on the back here, we've mounted basically just a little holder and inside this is five 30 minute road flares. Um, this is gonna be setting up for emergency nighttime operation until proper traffic control can get there along with trucks. Um, this is really nice to have. And it just gives that a little bit extra um, emergency situation, highlights it even that much better. So with that, <clears throat> let me turn these on for you. So you got your toggle switch here and you Turn this on, so that's your that's your LED strobes. You can see those strobes up to 3,000 feet. It's quite amazing. And then by hitting the momentary switch here, holding it for a split second, you can actually change these out. And I just keep on hitting this here and you can just see the changes, but anyhow, up to 15 different, which is really cool. Now we're gonna illuminate the floodlight. So now you can see that, what that looks like. And uh, what a great addition to a work zone. It just brings so much more attention to the flagger. And uh, anything that you can do to save a person's life and keep them from getting disabled for life, um, is much, much needed. Um, we did upgrade the the wheels. We took the solid hard wheels off and we put a, a soft 
rubber filled wheel um, and it has helped out a lot too but the wiring basically we just kept the the tube we drilled in we ran the wires down into the switches we did weld in this little section here and also weld this section in here and actually did the same thing on the bottom there made a couple little brackets and holders to hold everything but we built two of them and uh thought i'd show that to somebody that's interested in flagging or how to make your work zone that much safer for your workers your employees and most importantly the traveling motors so hope you all like it and enjoy the video y'all be safe out there